And shootings like this latest one at Fort Hood get all of our military installations, of course, thinking about the topic of safety. Jordan Burgess spoke with officials at Wright-Patterson today to get answers about the action plans that are in place there. He continues our team coverage with what he learned. I just talked with Base Commander Colonel Cassie Barlow, and she says it is a concern that an event like what happened at Fort Hood could happen here. So we asked her about what the base is doing to prevent a tragedy. Now, base workers were greeted by a flag being flown at half staff in honor of the victims of the Fort Hood shooting. Now, Colonel Cassie Barlow says Wright Patterson has measures to try to prevent something like that from taking place here. She says base workers train for an active shooter situation and that officials are able to identify those who show signs of post traumatic stress disorder. But she says the biggest preventative measure might be the base's wingman concept, which encourages airmen to look out for their friends and co workers. And we wanted to know if the base will take any other actions in light of this recent shooting. Uh, any security changes uh, here based on what happened in Texas? No, just a, uh, you know, the, the, the same procedures that, that we've always had, and, and we believe those procedures um, lead to a very safe and secure environment for our workforce. Now, Colonel Barlow says only security personnel are allowed to carry guns on base. She says people can buy weapons on base, but then have to transport them off base. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.